Well, it is cold this morning. And the sun hadn't quite come up yet, but trying to get an early start. John is going to get another load of dirt. Uh, actually, Justin's going to help haul today with his tandem so we can uh, get some more dirt in here to help get across this creek. So, let me get this machine started up so it can warm up. How many loads he bring? Three, four. Is that three or four? I think that's three. I think that one's just scattered. I don't know. Eh? It might be four. I can't tell. That's one load, two loads. Eh. Kind of looks like the tailgate right there, but also, I think that's three. We'll say that's three. All right, let me get this raked out, and I got to dig all that mud out and get all that rock put in there to build a base. Dirt, but it's solid. I mean, it's, it's not going anywhere. 
some people just start digging and digging and digging and no <laughs> it will not get drier the deeper you go actually it'll get worse so you've kind of just got to use your own judgment and experience to know that hey this is going to work right here so this knock down a little bit so I don't swing into it when I start raking the dirt out. And now I'm going to take these boulders, or the few boulders in that load, and I'm actually going to waste them right here because it was a little spongy right there, and that'll kind of help bridge across that. That I should take these rocks back to the house and use them for riprap. Well, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I know it's deceiving on camera. That's a 42 inch bucket and that's a 42 inch rock. And it's just not practical to try to put those in a little creek channel to use as riprap. And it's got so much dirt and other debris in it that uh, eh, most people really wouldn't want to want that. I'm going to take this, break a lot of this material down, get it spread out and tracked in. Even if I'm a little higher, I'll just dig out a spot in the center for the pipe to lay in. That way I can kind of eyeball my grades a little bit better. Uh, go ahead and set it in place. And that'll give them some more room to dump dirt and allow it not to be 40 feet from where I need it from. Better make sure I'm not backing into the hill there. Good. Good, 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 good. Right here. Oh, that's 
probably enough. Break it out. dirt this morning first load John I see Justin waiting across the street And here comes Justin backing along. Backed up here and dumped out. I might need to write that down a little bit. Right there. Dump it out. Here we go. I've got my full load. Need some boards on that thing. Pretty good little load of dirt. I heard you didn't uh you didn't do your pre-trip inspection this morning? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Which one was it? This one right here. I mean, you at least got to go around here and give them a good old thumperoo. <laughs> I did. It seemed solid. <laughs> yeah, look at, you know, those sidewalls are like an inch thick. You know, they look like they got air in them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got to kick them to see. That's right. All right. Well, he gave you a pretty good load there. Yeah, he asked. He says six and a half. I counted seven. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> All right, I got my dirt in here and a channel cut to set the pipe in. As you can tell, I got it about six inches below grade down there. Um, that'll kind of help seed it in. And I don't know how far it is right there. Probably a few inches right there as well. All right, let me go up here and see if I can. I'm going to try to scoop it up. If not, i got a chain to hook around it and bring it down here. I got a uh, chain I can wrap around it. 
All right, so I got the pipe set in the creek. As you can tell, it's got plenty of fall on it. I uh, think I'm gonna push that in down here a little bit farther, kind of get a little bit more straighter with the path. But I think I'm pretty good. If anything, I might slide it down to my left, just a touch. Yeah, maybe a foot or so. That'll kind of kick it over this way, just a little bit more. And I'll start covering it up. Alright, so I got the pipe put in and set in place. Now I'm going to start digging up some of this dirt and putting it around it, packing it in. In perfect timing, just had a load of dirt dumped out. And I go ahead and put it around the pipe. I'm going to dump some right here. side of it. If I dump it right on top it'll kind of run around and that'll keep it from rolling out of the way. I'm going to dump dirt around it. Keep it put in place pretty much.
rake the dirt out there in that little coffer dam and start fixing that. Go ahead and let the water flow through it. Alright, now that they won't kick the pipe out, I can put a little bit of a lift in here and get that packed in and then throw dirt over the pipe and get that put in place. Justin is here with another load of dirt. sure that the water flows through the pipe. So since I had to kind of put it in here at such a weird angle, I kind of fill in the creek a little bit and then dig that section out so that it's kind of a little bit more of a straight shot going into the pipe. Just kind of fill that in. Well, the water's going somewhere, so that's a good sign. this side. Take that down just a little bit. Right to there. Pack all this dirt in place. And there it goes. Down the creek. Come along good, taking the skid steer now and pushing a lift in here. I'm going to get enough to be able to get across the pipe. And then I can undercut that out and get that side tracked in as well. But I put enough dirt here to keep it from moving around. It's flowing down in there nicely. I'll clean that out a little bit better. Once I can drive across it with the excavator. And this side is... Got a little more water in it. Just because I was trying to get it down as low as possible to get as much cover as possible. Let me push that out real quick.
was able with that last load Justin brought to bridge across the pipe enough where I could jump over it with the skid steer and I'm going to cut this out and then pull that dirt down and as they dump they'll dump it over the pipe there and I can pull it down and kind of keep tracking it in and filling in this side. I kind of did a boo boo. <laughs> I got the skid steer stuck. I, uh, I was pulling that dirt out over there and I was spun around to take the dirt that I'd pulled out and the damn thing just slid back down in the ditch before I knew what happened. And uh, needless to say, I can't get it out under its own power. And I can't get, I can't pull it from behind because it's halfway up the back door because I had it dug out with a four-in-one bucket. So I'm going to take this load of dirt he just brought and build me a road around it so that I can uh, get the excavator over there and pull it out. It's not really stuck. I just can't get up the hill. <laughs> And it's down in the hole that I dug. Dig the bad mud out. Whoopsies. Film your reaction to this. <laughs> I had a boo boo. <laughs> yeah, you had a boo boo. Almost. It's not stuck. I just can't get out. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that explains. I was looking. I was like, "Where is the skid steer?" And I'm looking for him, and then I see it missing here. See what had happened? Oh, damn it! <laughs> He's run off the end of the bike. No, what happened was I was pulling all that out, and I spun around to push it out of the way. And it didn't stop when I wanted to stop, and it just, that's where it ended up. <laughs> and that's where it become with me trying to get it out. <laughs> and here we are. I see, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> so all you gotta do is just steer it, and I'll just give you a little tug. Yeah, just, see, it's not stuck, it just won't climb the hill. Yeah, yeah I see you run it backwards to see if it would climb. Well, no, that's where it stopped at. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, this is where I spun around, and that... He's safe working conditions we're in here well you know they say dump truck driving's a little boring so i wanted to spice it up with a little oh, okay. yeah, excitement a little something to do. okay <laughs> it's your life you to <laughs> uh you remember this one you gotta hit the little green button to get it right, right that one here we go 
All right, so Justin come to uh, help me pull it out here. See, that's all it needed. Just a little oomph. <laughs> See, I told you it wasn't stuck, I just couldn't get out. Yeah. Well, that's what it is. <laughs> He's laughing you there. He said that you would you would stop and help me. Oh, he did. Yeah, he said he had to go back and get another <laughs> load. But since Justin was already behind, <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to get dirty. Let, let me grab that chain. Come on and back on up and dump some dirt in this mud hole. You know, I was trying to get that rear compaction. Yeah. And uh, I, I did pretty good right there. Oh, this model had a compaction <laughs> wheel. You know, I, I'm multitasking. I dig with both ends. Yeah, both ends. You know, I was trying to get the mud out of there, and I'm going to have to dig some more mud out. <laughs> Back that rig on up. <laughs> well. Always a little excitement. That'll give me some dirt to fill this hole in with now. Ta-da! Wear that tailgate out. You banged it hard enough, you ain't got nothing to worry about getting off. Oh, okay. Wear that tailgate out. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, hurry up and get another load. Yeah, You're yeah. running behind now. I didn't know I was going to have to halfway great on that end and come down here and tell them this. Well, I, I'll just tell him you stopped at the store. <laughs> you need a Coca-Cola. I need a Coca-Cola. <laughs> so I made it across the creek now. Got the pipe put in and back filled. Now I'm having to do a pretty deep undercut on the other side here. The house starts right here that corner stake that'll be the front side and back second field out there parking area is going to be right here and uh this stuff pretty much turned to like jello so real nice top tool is just it's completely saturated as you can see it almost splatters when it hits the ground but uh get this undercut out and still hauling the clay and rock in fill it back in and we'll top dress it with stone before the end of today.
Well, I got that graded back out. The road took a little bit of a abuse today, but we, I got that fixed back. Got a mountain of mud and topsoil I had to undercut. Got the equipment parked for the uh, holiday weekend. We'll be back here probably next week, so it'll be sitting here for a little while. Got everything rolled in, but we did good today. Uh, this is where I uh, filled in yesterday. I got this undercut out down to the creek and today we brought a boatload of dirt in. I don't know, both trucks hauled all day today. John and Justin did. I uh, got the culvert pipe set and put in so I got about a foot to 80, 18 inches of dirt below the pipe and it's a four foot pipe and I'm about almost two feet over it so there's a lot of dirt in here. So I've got a good wide crossing here now. I kind of straighten the creek up a little bit so it'll come around and it's flowing right straight in the pipe. I need to clean that out or it'll wash out depending on how much rain we get. Tomorrow, yes, more rain, gone for about an inch and a half. So I'm glad we got all this dirt hauled in here and packed in place. It'll flow through here and flush this out pretty good. And I got the slopes graded out and packed in place and I ended up having to undercut all this about two feet um, just to get to something solid it was really really spongy it seems fine when you drive over it but after you drive over it eight or ten times it turns to quicksand so I got all that undercut out <laughs> pretty good little pile there I mean it's some beautiful topsoil and uh, it will pack nice and hard. It's just we've had so much rain and there's this clay layer of clay down there. The water just gets down there to it and sets on it and just saturates everything above. So that's probably five dump truck loads of topsoil there I had to undercut out. But there's a nice road coming back here now. Got it all rolled in. Didn't have time to get stoned. It's about a little after four o'clock. So the sun's about ready to go down. And everybody's closing down because tomorrow is Christmas Eve. So... We're going to shut down, take a few days off, and uh, be back at it next week.